Okay, in 2017, I traveled up to Oregon to see the total eclipse of the sun. And I did this because I had some friends that were going to all the total eclipses. They were traveling all over the world to go to the total eclipses. And I was like, why? And they said, if you had ever seen a total eclipse of the sun, you would not ask us that question. And I said, really? Yeah, it's a, it's, it'll be one of the biggest moments of your life. You should go. There's one in 2017 in the United States. You should make it a plan to go. And I was like, okay, I'll do that. We traveled up with the, with, with the whole family and we're in a field with a bunch of other people and we're waiting for the eclipse and it happens. And I freaking burst into tears. I, I had this huge emotional reaction to it that I was not expecting. And I talked to friends all across the country who had seen it and they all said the same thing. They all like had these huge emotional reactions to it. And I tried to figure out why that was. Why, why did it make us cry? And the only thing I could think of is that we know, you know, if we're not flat earthers, we know intellectually that, that the sun and the moon and the earth are all spheres but we don't experience them that way. We experience it as a graphic in the sky. For the way we experience it, we could be living in the Truman Show. But when you're looking through those glasses and you're watching the sun go down to a little sliver and then it just blinks out, like it disappears, and you pull the glasses off and are like, you can look at the moon in front of the, of the sun and you see it as a three-dimensional object for the first time in your life. And the light from the outsides of the corona is lighting the edges of the moon and making it look three-dimensional. And suddenly you feel connected to this celestial body that is out there. And there's a direct line from the center of you to the center of it to the center of the sun. And you feel it's the difference between knowing something intellectually and experiencing something. And that's a very visceral difference. And it hits you all at once. And it feels like you just finally experienced the universe in a way that you'd never you'd never experienced it before. It's, you know, maybe the biggest moment in my life, second only to the birth of my children. And I had this conversation with my sister. I said that and she said, yeah, but I'm not sure I'd put it second. I mean, I wouldn't put it first above that, but it's right, right there even with the birth of my children. It is a sort of a weird life altering moment. And there is one happening in a little over a week, April 8th, and it's going up through Texas, the, the path of totality. And, and I can't stress this enough, the difference between 98% or 99% totality and totality is literally the difference between night and day. The temperature drops 25 degrees in like 15 minutes. You get a full 360 degree sunrise looking in every direction. It is the most awe-inspiring moment that you may ever experience. And it's so close if you live in the United States. All I can tell you is whatever it would take you to get into the path of totality, Monday, April 8th, it will be worth it.